So the Mary Hardhead is a tiny little fish, a freshwater fish. It's endemic from the Lower Mary Darling uh, Basin. And um, that fish is really threatened by now. We have just few populations. There's only five populations listed in Victoria alone. Um, there's two in the Kerrang area regions and, and also um, there's another additional two in Mildura. Um, they're only very small populations. Um, you know, some, some down to say 200 specimens. Murray hardyhead are what we call a small bodied native fish. Uh, there are several species of hardyhead in the Murray Darling system. Murray hardyhead are unique in that they have a preference for saline wetlands. They grow to about eight centimetres long. They're a schooling fish and they, when they are, are doing well, they're in big numbers. They provide food for other fish and for, for native birds and they also feed on s small bugs in the water, such as mosquito larvae, so they play a role in mosquito control. So the, the populations of Murray Hardyhead have declined over the years, mainly because of uh, reduced flooding in the river system, which means connectivity between individual populations is reduced, and dispersal is reduced, and a lot of the wetlands they occupied have dried out and the fish have died as a consequence. Uh, during the drought when Murray Hardyhead were on the brink of extinction, um, we managed to rescue small populations of Murray Hardyhead from a handful of locations in Victoria and a couple in South Australia prior to these wetlands drying out. These fish have been maintained in captivity until such time as we can re-release them into the wild. So in the, in the years with a severe draw, we just try to um, save the, keep the populations going. And when we have big floods like this year or last year, we try to really recover the population, expanding and create new sites for them, translocate some populations. The Mali CMA has been involved um, in the Hardyhead program for quite a while now. Um, our involvement is mainly around the environmental water requirement that the species has. When the program first came about, um, it was during the drought. Um, so we were looking at sites that we could efficiently deliver environmental water to. So we're looking for smaller sites. One of the sites where we've relocated Murray Hardyhead to has been a, a big success. It was 2009 when we first released just, I think it was about 300 adult fish to this system. Within weeks we noticed larvae in the system. There had been no hardy head prior to this, so we know that they are the fish we released at bred. Three years down the track, we've seen an increase, slow but steady increase in the numbers of hardy head at this site. So that's a successful translocation and, and, it's, and it's an indication that this species will respond well to the types of actions that we're taking.